I am Shanti Panchal, a painter. I painted initially in oils on canvas, but shifted from oil paint to watercolors. I grew up in a very remote village in, in Western India, in Gujarat. And uh, where I grew, we, we had um, mainly mud wall houses and red roof tiles. My job was to fetch water in the public well. And you'll see all these ladies, you know, kind of um, in so many different vibrant colors. So I think uh, uh, those colors and earth shades has remained pretty dominant. Historically, actually, watercolors never change like oils and acrylic. And I really wanted to change the whole medium in a way. I wanted a strength of colors. And so I started sort of working, you know, with many layering of colors. So when you're penetrating color into the paper, which gives you almost like fresco-like surfaces, but also very vibrant. since coming to this country, I always lived in London. And I think uh, when it came to the mural, I wanted to reflect the life in London and also Brixton. So I did a lot of sort of uh, research and then you know, spent some time in Brixton. The, the, the mural will be viewed by the local people in Brixton, so I think it was relevant and important in the sense that uh, it reflects the, the local community. And I think it's also important that some section of the community do not go to art galleries and museums. And I think this is fantastic that you bring in actually art to them. Because that, that's the whole idea of uh, public art. So the Brixton Mural Program was initiated in 2018 and it was really to make a program about what I think is kind of the original public artwork really, a painting on the side of a building, whether that's been historically like frescoes or the Mexican mural movement. But when I started the research, I started finding out that actually in the 70s and 80s, London was a huge center for mural production. Lambeth was one of those, and there was over 300 murals created actually around the area. And particularly in the 80s, the GLC, the Greater London Council, which is what we now know as the GLA, was giving a lot of money to public art causes, which was great. And one of them was in 1984, it was the anti-racist year, and there was four murals commissioned. Um, Tam Joseph made one in Brixton, just down the road here. Labena Himid created one, Keith Piper also created one. And Shanti Panchal was one of the original murals, and it's actually the only one that still exists today. It's in Shadwell. And it showed this kind of inside outside scene of this Asian family and actually the racist neighbors that they had around them. And it was, it was a really kind of politically tense artwork and quite an amazing thing to have that in public space and be commissioned by the GLC at the time. So it felt like although Shanti's work is deeply meditative and very peaceful, really beautiful and sensitive, it also is really, really political work. And so Shanti's been on the list for the Brixton Mural Programme right from the very beginning. And it felt really nice to have a kind of full circle moment and having one of those original artists that totally informed the programme actually make a mural for Brixton. I think the whole purpose of working over the last uh, six, seven months is to this, to see actually, to install and people to experience and enjoy the, the enhancing the whole station. And I think everybody who uses a station, they cannot miss it. Uh, and I think that's a wonderful thing that they also um, have an interaction with the painting. And I think that's the whole purpose of the art and underground mural walls.